My name is Amanda. I also go by Keto Ginger. That was me trying to figure out how not to look naked while I am starting a vlog. So that's what's happening. <laughs> I have clothes on, it's just strapless. So today is awesome for me. I get to do something creative with someone that I love and I really, really need it. So it's, it's a bunch of different things rolled into one that I love. Let me let the dog in and I will tell you all about it. One of the great things about being a local wedding vendor and doing photography is that we have access to so many incredibly amazing and creative folks that are doing all sorts of things in light of the pandemic and kind of helping people figure out how professionals can help professionals and how to help all of these people that their weddings have been canceled. So we <laughs> partnered up with our friend Donna. Donna is a wedding DJ. She goes by DJ Jukebox Bully and she She's an incredible friend of ours. She's also, as a matter of fact, going to be the DJ for my best friend, Jen, coming up in January. So Donna reached out to us and asked if we'd be interested in doing a collaboration with a really awesome new venue in our local area. It's a historic home in Daytona Beach. It's actually the oldest home in Daytona Beach. It's been completely refurbished. It's run by an amazing couple and I'm gonna take you guys for a little tour of it. I believe it was built in 1875. If you wanna look up facts on the house, it used to be called the Abbey House. So if you Google Abbey House Daytona Beach, you'll find it and see that it used to be a general store. Wait till you guys see what they've done with the place. So our friend Donna is in the works with creating a pilot that is basically a TV show for local businesses to showcase themselves and that that's another story for another day but we're doing some interviewing and showcasing the venue and I'm going to take you guys along with me and then I'm going to get to spend the day with my best friend which is very much needed. So enjoy. Venue. It's called the Foxtail Estate. I can't wait for you guys to see the inside. This is the oldest home in Daytona and we're pretty stoked because we're working. We're working. We're working. Yeah, Jenny. <laughs> I miss my best friend so much, you guys. That's the worst. <laughs> Someone saw your shimmy. Someone saw your shimmy. They liked it. <laughs> Isn't this place incredible? You guys are not even ready. This couple completely restored this home and now it's a wedding venue. You know, standing over here and like talking to you. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? She's gonna ask you questions. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You so say good. exactly what you wanna say, clear, but also I need some fun. In the Fox Tail Estate, 1875 oldest house in Daytona on the register. It's so freaking neat. I'm a total history nerd, especially when it comes to architecture and historic homes. So this is, oh, this is so cool. You guys, they're all making fun of me because I said that I like how old homes smell. <laughs> it, it smells good. It smells good. You know that like library smell where it just smells old? Even though this has been redone, they kept all of the lighting fixtures, the flooring, so it's historic, but it's got modern touches. Isn't this gorgeous? This is like the bridal getting ready room. Look at all this light. So pretty. Who's that lady? All original floors. Soaker tub. I'm just obsessed. It's so cool. Oh, wow. You guys, 
it's a bed and breakfast, but it's also a wedding venue. I'm pretty impressed. And I'm being a weirdo upstairs by myself because I just can't get enough. And I really wanted to show you guys what I was doing today. Isn't this majestic? Oh, obsessed. That floor though. This place is absolutely amazing. They have done so much work. Like I said, oldest home in Daytona. And her husband, the, he's an architect. They redid the whole house. I just, I can't even put into words how much history is in this home. There's a little book up front that basically just talks about how it was a general store and through years and years and years of its life, sometimes it was a beautiful home and sometimes it was like a bootlegger stash house for money like just incredible history race religion whatever you are ready amira today in a new venue that we're gonna start working at we're gonna work together and help her help us and the whole shebang but I needed this today here's the backyard this is the ceremony site you guys her and her husband have really put in a lot of work you can hear the cicadas you guys enjoyed getting a little sneak peek into what a creative day can sometimes look like for me. I had so much fun today. I'm fascinated by historical buildings and homes and the architecture. I just get very emotional. It looks like art to me. I feel goosebumps and my imagination runs away with me about what could have happened in the hundreds of years that this building's been here. It was just, they're romantic, aren't they? Am I a weirdo? They were making fun of me because I said I loved the way that old homes smell. <laughs> I'm probably a weirdo.
I definitely exist for that kind of stimuli, you know, uh, educating myself about an old building or being in a place and imagining what could have happened there before I stood. If any of you live in a historic home, I would love to hear all about it. Um, they're fascinating to me. So hopefully we get the opportunity to do some little weddings with this venue in the future. Jen and I took the afternoon and we went and did a little bit of shopping and laughing and coffee drinking and it was, it was magical. It was magical. I missed my girl. It was a really good day. So now I'm going to get ready to go pick up the kids from therapy and then let the wild rumpus that is the nighttime routine commence. I love you guys so much. I hope you had an absolutely empowering and uplifting day. And if you did not, there's still time to turn that around. Do something nice for yourself. Even if it's just looking in the mirror and saying, hey, you, you are awesome. I love you. See you soon.